Hey, how's everybody doing? I just wanted to do something real quick. Just got me a package in from Amazon today. And let's just see what it is. Well, actually, I'll just tell you what it is. Because you're going to see it in the thumbnail. This is Cremo's Palo Santo. Um... I've got two other Cremo fragrances, and I have the body washes for them, but I've always wanted to get this one. I've got the Palo Santo body wash, and honestly, i got to be up front with you, I've never actually smelled the genuine article. The closest I've gotten is this. And from what I've heard, this is pretty close. And this is a extract of parfum. But it has that kind of dill pickle smell to it that some people talk about. So, and it doesn't have much sweetness to it either. So what I want to see how this crema works. I was, it's been in the house for a few hours. I was busy watching the Cowboys get beat, so I figured I'd do this later to cheer myself up. Because <laughs> I really I really didn't expect us to win that game. So here's the box. There's the side, a simple note breakdown. Some information on the back. Same thing on the other side, and on the bottom, you have your barcode. So let's take a look in here. Palo Santo, even, um, not Palo Santo, but LeBeau 33 is just, uh, Le LeBeau 33 is just extremely expensive. I like the way Cremo does their boxes because stuff's not flopping around. And this is apparently from their reserve collection. And this is the bottle. It looks just like every other Cremo bottle. I'm going to take my watch off so I don't end up spraying it. I'm going to wait for my fan to turn away because it's hot here in Texas like it always friggin' is. Let's let it do its thing for a little bit. I definitely like it better than this. This one has a little bit of sweetness to it, whereas the alt version of Le Lobo really kind of doesn't. But this stuff is a powerhouse. You spray one of these and it's going to be with you for a long time. It's not a dead ringer, I don't reckon. And that's the thing with me about clones. If if it smells similar to something that's good, I like it when clones kind of run off and do their own thing and use a fragrance as a uh, reference point. To me, it's no different than uh, seeing how somebody makes beef stew and then adding your own spin on it. But I like this. I can't, I'm... I'm looking forward to giving this a wear, and you can pick up the uh, the body wash for it and just have the complete package. And I've used their other body washes, and they're actually very, very good. And they'll help this last a little bit longer. Yeah, but that's definitely very nice. I don't know if it's exactly a one-for-one. One. Probably isn't. But... 
if you want to get close to uh, Layla Bo's Centaur 33 and you only got $20, this is your best bet. This is a great fragrance along with some of their other things. I've got two more bottles sitting up here. This one's quite excellent as well. It has a little sweetness and you can definitely smell the suede in it. This is a, this is a banger. It's actually very good. But anyway, that's my quick take on this fragrance. And I'm going to be uploading another video here real quick. So these are going to be separate. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers.